Cheney, a man of a thousand faces, genius actor of the silent screen, immortalized in such performances as Quasimodo in The Hunchback of Notre Dame and Eric in The Phantom of the Opera. Not a horror actor, but a character actor who created his own makeup and went to great lengths to achieve the amazing characterizations that he brought to the parts he portrayed. Lon Chaney collaborated with the great director Todd Browning a former carnival barker. Browning wrote most of the bizarre films which he directed. Browning often cast Cheney in dual roles within a single film, which helped broaden Lawn's Rogues Gallery. Outside the Law, West of Zanzibar. The original 1925 silent version of The Unholy Three had Cheney playing an old woman and a sideshow ventriloquist. Another dual role came in The Blackbird, Todd Browning directed Lon Chaney as an armless knife thrower in The Unknown, arguably their best work together. And Chaney played a wild animal trapper in their last collaboration entitled Where East is East. But among the ten films they worked on together, one film stands out as the most sought after by collectors and archivists, and that film is... London after midnight! <laughs> <laughs> Cheney's portrayal as the vampire was so frightening that one British bloke in Hyde Park accused of murder claimed that Lon Cheney's performance drove him temporarily insane and caused him to commit the crime. His defense of insanity failed in court. Released in 1927, London After Midnight was the highest grossing film with the lowest budget for MGM that year. The working title for Browning's story was The Hypnotist. Now, presumed lost forever, the last known print of London After Midnight was destroyed in a fire at MGM, Vault 7, in the mid-1960s. Lon Chaney's dual roles in London After Midnight were, first a Scotland Yard inspector, then a wide-eyed vampire with a beaver skin hat and razor-sharp teeth. This was also the only time Chaney's famous makeup case was used as an on-screen prop. Todd Browning himself made a cameo appearance in the film. London After Midnight was the first American vampire feature film ever produced. Monster movie horror and sci-fi historian Forrest Ackerman created Famous Monsters magazine. Forey saw London After Midnight when it was first theatrically released and likened Cheney's vampire character to walking around in a style that would later be associated to that of Groucho Marx. Ackerman always promoted London After Midnight in his famous Monsters magazine and was the keeper of the Acker Mansion, which owned the legendary beaver skin hat and razor sharp teeth. Todd Browning remade London After Midnight in 1934 and called it Mark of the Vampire. Browning split the dual role played by Cheney and cast his 1931 Dracula star, Bela Lagosi, in the role of the vampire. Lionel Barrymore was cast as the inspector. Recently, nitrate clips discovered at the silent movie theater in Los Angeles have come to the public eye. Here we present, for the first time, actual footage just discovered. Hoax after internet hoax. Rumors of prints. Versions available in old film catalogs. Underground college screenings. Even unnoticed television and DVD releases have all haunted this lost film. But as each year passes, the likelihood of a print of London after midnight coming to light becomes increasingly dim. Yet one can still hope that it may one day surface perhaps in some retired projectionist's attic.
Ha, 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 ha,